Let's build a deep water culture hydroponic system. Deep water culture is as simple as a bucket of nutrient solution with a little air stone connected to an air pump. For those who have been following along on the channel, this system is basically the same as the crack key system, except we're gonna be adding an air pump and an air stone. I'll drop a link to that video, but that's not what you're here for. You're here for the deep water culture. In a deep water culture system, we're gonna suspend our plant in a net cup in a bucket filled with hydroponic nutrient solution. The plant is gonna get oxygen from a little air pump with an air stone. In a cracky system, we allow the plant to grow down and create air roots, and then we keep the hydroponic nutrient solution topped up at a third. In this system, we're keeping the hydroponic nutrient solution topped up just below the neck cup. We're gonna be adding that oxygen to the water. So all you're gonna need for today's build is a bucket. I'm using a 20 liter bucket from a local hardware store. That's roughly five gallons in American terms. I've got a neck cup. This is a three inch neck cup. I've also drilled a hole using a, a little hole drill. This is a 72 millimeter hole drill. I've got an air pump. I've got an air stone. I've got a bit of four millimeter poly. And then I've got my hydroponic nutrient solution. This is just a cheap one from a local hardware store for this demonstration. In my actual big system, I use a much bigger concentrated solution in 25 kilo bags. And when you go to the hydroponic nutrient shop, you're probably gonna be overwhelmed for choice. This is a dry solution of MPK fertilizer, which is part A, and also calcium nitrate, which is a part B. These two components can't be stored together, they'll react, so they sell them separately. We mix them up, dilute them, and then we can put them into our 20 liter bucket. In the hydroponics store, there are things like one part solutions, there's AB solutions, which are already pre-mixed. You're gonna be overwhelmed at the beginning, but it's pretty simple at the end of the day. You've got MPK and also calcium nitrate. And depending on what plant you're growing, you're gonna need different variations of the percentages of each of those mixes. And that's something I'm gonna to have to make another video on because it gets a little more complicated. But today, this simple hydroponic nutrients is gonna serve our purposes to grow something like a tomato, a capsicum, a cucumber, or even a strawberry. You're also gonna need a substrate to give that little seedling some structure. I often use just clay balls for these systems. Uh, they're relatively cheap, and as you can see, a big bag like this is gonna go a long way. I've already done this step multiple times, but the first thing you need to do is just drill that hole for your neck cup. As you can see, I've got a little attachment for my drill bit, which will just give me a nice little shape there. You might also have to clean those edges up there with just a scalpel or a knife. So the next thing we need is a little hole for some poly. I'm just using a stepped drill bit here, which is, goes up to the four millimeters on the very first one. I'm gonna go to the next one up, which will give me six and then a really tight fit. I'm gonna put the hole just below this ridge line. I've measured this up and that's gonna be slightly below my neck cup. So that hydroponic nutrients will be just at the bottom of that neck cup. Uh, after I do this. So I'm gonna try and demonstrate this. I've just filled this with water, but you can see the neck cup just sits above that water there. And that water is just roughly sitting just below that line there. So that's beautiful where I've put that. So the next thing is just install a little air stone at the bottom there. And that's just sitting at the bottom of my bucket. Then I've got an air pump. This one has two outlets. I'm leaving quite a lot of tubing here because I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this system yet and I just wanna allow myself some flexibility. But I'll just install that there and that'll be ready to plug in. So this air pump is gonna provide oxygen to those roots which they would normally get from the soil. The next thing we need to do is mix up our hydroponic nutrient. Let's start with water. So this specific hydroponic nutrient comes with the steps to dissolve this into 100 litres of water, which I've just changed down to 20 litres of water. It's roughly 24 grams of part one into 20 litres of water and 16 grams of part two. So let's dilute them and then drop them into the bucket. And straight in. Give that a good mix. Same with the part two. Okay, all we would need to do now plug the air stone in, drop our lid back on, put our substrate in, our little clay balls and our seedling, and that's good to go. And it's that simple. Hydroponics doesn't need to be difficult. Now with a deep water culture, some people recommend draining this out and cleaning it every few weeks during the growing season. That's because salts from the hydroponic nutrient solution can crust up around the outsides and when you top it up, you can sometimes disturb them, which is gonna increase the concentration of nutrients and give your plant a shock. As you get more advanced, you're gonna become more interested in your pH and your electrical conductivity. pH is all to do with the water, how acid or alkaline it is. 
An optimal pH is around 5.8 to 6 for most plants, but look up whatever you're going to be growing. You're gonna find sometimes tap water has a slightly high pH, that's because they like to make it quite alkaline, which is easier to drink for humans. Rainwater, I find where I am, has a slightly lower pH. It actually, for me, comes out just about optimal at 5.8. When you add nutrient solution to your water, it can sometimes play around with the pH. So as you get more advanced, you might wanna buy yourself a pH measure, or you might wanna buy some little test strips so that you can keep an eye on your pH. You can also buy chemicals to up the pH or drop the pH down a little bit, and you're only gonna need a tiny amount of those chemicals, literally just drops. Electrical conductivity measures how concentrated those salts are in the water. When you start out with a seedling, people often recommend that you start with a lower electrical conductivity and build it up. For something like this, where I've just measured it straight out, I would assume that this electrical conductivity is running somewhere around two to 2.4, which is probably a little bit on the higher side for seedlings, but also probably totally fine. So the downside of these systems is that if you're interested in those things, this equipment is not enough to get you there, but also this equipment is enough to get you started. And once you get started and you see some successes, I think you're gonna really enjoy hydroponics and you're gonna get more and more addicted. Well, it's as simple as that. I've got a little capsicum now bubbling away in this deep water culture bucket, and we'll see how it goes. We'll check back in later in the growing season, but for now, that's all. Make sure you hit like and subscribe if you want more videos about making simple hydroponic systems 